Uh, just I support Ward and uh, his decision. Um, you know, it was never a good situation uh, from the very beginning. And, uh, none of us liked it or liked, the, liked that one of ours was in a situation like that. And um, But it is, it is good to have some resolution to it. And it's been investigated and prosecuted, adjudicated in a court of law where everybody had their, had their day in court. I mean, and um, that's... I'm not going to call it a good thing, but, um, and then, uh, you know, we've already, we've already suspended him. We suspended him pretty severely from games and from time around the football team. And so, um, and I think, uh, you know, just following athletic department and university protocol, that's all we, all we did all, the entire time through. And, you know, never anything where, Anybody did anything for Grant? I mean, he got himself in that trouble, so you know it's it up to him to have to have to face it. So, um, but now we're at this point where it's where it has some resolution. Did you have any input in the decision to reinstate? Uh, that was that was Ward's. Um, Ward uh, did talk to me about it, and uh, he talked to a lot of people on campus. He talked to he talked to many many people on campus. More learned scholars than I, um, but uh, that was did have some some input. Football wise, is basically just yeah support support what you're how you're thinking on this. In football terms, does he have a little bit of rust to shake off, or is he a little bit behind after missing spring in a serious amount of time? Um, no, maybe uh, yeah, a little bit of a hip flexor, which I can relate to because I got a hip flexor injury right now. Uh, he's, he's battling through it. 